Okay, on this debut Colorado Buffaloes night, I'm gonna give you some dark truth. Hey, 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 hey. Who goes there? Much appreciated. Welcome to Bruce with Beck. Welcome to Bruce with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? Uh, yeah, got some dark truth in front of me from Boulevard Brewing out of Kansas City, Missouri. It is game night, uh, game day. It's ready to go. Uh, this beer is pretty big Imperial Stout, 9.7 on the Richter. Tap that in. All right, game time. Let's go. This is what the brewers have put together that has grains, barley, wheat, rye, oats into black, liquid gold. Layers of complex flavors slowly emerge from the glass. Espresso, roasted fig, creme brulee. Belgian yeast provides a plum-like fruitness. Noble German hops reveal spicy herbal notes while the rich velvety mouthfeel mellows a dry, smoky finish. Damn straight, damn straight. So uh, let me know if you've had this. Uh, I know a lot of people out there have. Almost 60,000 people have given this about a 3.85 out of five. I'm going to let you know what I think of it tonight. Tonight! Game night, uh, and let's get rolling. All right, all I ask, ooh, used, used more oil. Please throw a touchdown pass to that like button and go ahead and spike that ball into the uh, subscribe button. So cheesy. That way we can sit down with cold drinks like this anytime you want, especially on game day. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. All right. Love when foam is actually dark itself. So looking forward to it. Uh, looking up for the smoky, uh, you know, earthy-like espresso notes in this one. Uh, I'm going to give it a second and let it uh, curve up to perfectly poured. And uh, let's try this bad boy. All right, I'd say that it's looking pretty prime, you betcha. Um, yeah, like I said, leave comments if you've had this. Would love to hear. Uh, let me know if you think my buffs are going to take it tonight or, uh, you know, if we're going to choke. But I doubt that. Uh, Coach Prime will not put up with that, right? 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 All right. Well, let's get it. Aroma time. Dark truth. I already smell kind of a, uh, you know dark chocolate, uh, chalky slash almost uh, fruit smell to it. But definitely more on like the roasted notes, uh, chalky roasted notes. Well, let's get into it. No words, just emotions. Like and subscribe. Let's drink the game day, dark truth stout. Here's the Ishador, make it happen. Ooh, all right. Immediately hits you with, uh, like I said, the, the the same thing you smelled, the the roasted kind of chalky uh, notes, but it's not it's not too chalky. It says 60 IBU on uh, on tap. It says 40 on the bottle, so I'm gonna go with the bottle. Uh, let's get it all in there. Cheers to game day. Yeah, it almost has a uh, quick quick bright citrus note um, right off the bat. It quickly fades into uh, the roasted uh, baker's chocolate notes. Uh, I would say the mouthfeel on this one is. I'm going to say about 70 out of 100 mouthfeel on this one. Uh, I just realized at the end, it's got those roasted kind of chalky notes, but a lot of people might describe that as just dry. A little, maybe a little reminiscent, but a little bit more kind of hoppy dry at the end than like a um, old Rasputin. Probably feels if I didn't know that it was 9.7. Yeah, I would actually say this one actually comes off as like exactly nine. Uh, if I didn't, if I didn't know what it was, you do get kind of an espresso, dry espresso, uh, roasted fig note, just like it says. This taste is perfect for kicking the hell out of North Dakota State tonight. Cheers. But anyway, yeah, feels like nine. Very roasted, uh, dry uh, notes to go along with like some yeah, espresso and uh, some fig, I would agree. 70 out of 100 mouthfeel. 
Very nice. Uh, I'm going to see what other people are saying about this, see if I agree with some of these comments. Uh, we'll give it a grade and get the hell out of here. Let's go. All right, y'all. You guys drinking this or what are you drinking? Please, comments below what you're drinking tonight because obviously you got to be drinking if you're watching the CU game. So, just one comment. Uh, burnt sugar uh, taste up front, fading into nice toasty finish, rich and heavy without being too boozy. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it burnt sugar. I would say espresso meets some kind of burnt fruit. Um, so, I, I mean, I get it, but um, I did have someone rated a five out of five saying tasty as always. And uh, apparently this goes well with smoked cheeses and cigars. So maybe I'll give it a try at that point. Plus I also saw a comment like this one lost to Bourbon County brand stuff. Well, yeah. Bourbon County brand stout is bourbon barrel aged for a year and a slightly higher tier than this, but this isn't that, but it's, I wouldn't say if it would lose by that much. Um, anyway, I give props to, uh, I got this at Handy Market for, I think like 15 bucks for a six pack. I'll take that anytime. I'll, I will be sure to get that again, especially for 9.7% on the Richter. Boom. Go see you. Um, all right. So I'm going to give it a nice big slamming moment and then we're going to grate it. But uh, that way it's, it's like I slammed my nice big espresso cup just like I do every morning. Let's go slamming moment. Go see you. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. Just takes up the glass. Yeah. You actually get a nice little bit of like almost like citrus chocolate um, roasted ness going on on that if you just take in a big amount. It's good. So on this game day, stow down to hell no. Get your gear ready. Get your beer ready. Let's go. Um, you know, I saw what people rating on on Untapped. Um, I don't know what what that rating's about. They people have either have sensitive taste buds or not. I don't know, but. I'm uh I am just good with that beer. I'm not rating it a stellar, but it is it is I will give it a 94 solid. It's a lot of good notes, a lot of combined notes. I think it's fairly smooth, comparable to Old Rasputin. Maybe maybe a little bit more complicated than Old Rasputin. That that would be interesting putting this right up against Old Rasputin. So let me know uh, what you think. So. Good day, sir or ma'am. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button for my YouTube algorithm. Much appreciated. It's it's go time. Uh, we'll see you out there. Go see you.